In this video, we'll be going over racial presets. Racial presets can be very useful in saving a racial configuration in order to apply it at a later time or to another component. And this will help us avoid a lot of duplicate work. So let's plot here, again, a set of ratios. If we double click, you'll notice here they have the save preset. So in this case, if I wanted to change some individual settings here, make this line red, we'll make the 100 line red. Click OK, click Apply. Now if we feel that we will be using these racial label and racial line settings again in the future, it would be a lot easier to click on Save Preset. Let's use a logical name here, My Preset, click Save, click OK. So now if we right click, and let's say we have a different set, in this case the Fibonacci blue, but we want our preset, we can choose our preset, and then we there we have it. Okay, now we can also apply this to another component. For example, if I use the expansion component, Let's just do this, and then I right click, and from racial preset, select my preset, I then have access to that preset. Okay, here's another note, since we're on presets. Now you can always make this preset a default, uh, since these settings are now selected. If we click on save defaults, and let's click apply, okay. Now if I were to use this again, You'll notice that that preset is now the default. Okay, if we go back, just going to do this here. If we go back, I can also save uh, a template. Now, templates, look at templates as a bunch of presets to use as defaults. So, for instance, as, let's say, default red, click Save As. And then I can, for instance, make some changes here. Change this to yellow. Change this to yellow. Apply here. Save as template. Default yellow. So now I have two templates. Default red and default yellow. Now just a side note on templates. It's not only for racial labels and racial lines, but all the settings and all these individual tabs in the properties dialog, these will be saved as defaults. Okay, so let's click OK. So now, oops, let's grab the extension. You'll notice in this case I have the red here set as a default. And now, If I go here and select yellow and actually save it as a default, click OK. Now you'll notice that it's yellow. OK. And, and again, if I want to access that preset, I right click my preset and back to where it goes. OK. That's it for this video, and we'll see you in the next.